All right, I think we're live here. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here. We are now on binder number 13. It is Sunday, July 30th, 2023, and we're going to finish up um, the binders today. Okay, so we have three small ones, and we'll do those right now live, and then we'll call it a day, and you know, I'm going to go for a walk and maybe go swimming later this afternoon uh, before my vacation coming up on Monday. All right. We open up here with referee Tommy Young, and he signed it over here as Tommy Young, as you can see. He was a referee in the NWA and WCW back in the day. His name was Tommy Young. So there it is on top. This one came from um, T-Mart from The Gathering, I believe. Tommy Young. Next, we have a current product diva, um, Tony Storm. One of my customers loves Tony Storm. Every time I get new inventory in, he always wants to buy my Tony Storms. Um, I don't know her that well because I don't follow the current product. This one is JSA certain making it real. So I just have one photo of her. I don't care that much. I don't really know who she is, but... Um, one of my fans really loves her though, and he always buys her autographs from me. So Tony Storm, there she is with the belt around her shoulder there. And in the back, you see the JSA sticker making it real. Next, we have a um, dual sign photo. This came from um, the Wrestling Universe. It's Tony Atlas over here, Rocky Johnson over there. Very reasonable when I bought this. And Rocky Johnson dies, and this thing goes up crazy in value. So they are with the WWF Tag Team Titles when they were champions in 84 and I believe early 85. Tony Atlas and Rocky Johnson. Again, dual sign Tony there, Rocky over there. Next we have another dual sign photo. This must be from like some indie show or something. So it says Tony Atlas, Mr. USA here. And Tommy Wildfire Rich over there. We saw them both as solo ones earlier. There's a combo of Tony Atlas and Wildfire Tommy Rich um, as a team in the locker room, teaming up. This is a new one. I got this from a virtual signing um, probably the last month or so. It's the ring announcer Tony Chimmel. So he wrote WWF Legendary Announcer 1989 to 2020. And then he wrote Tony Chimmel over there. And there he is with um, a raw background and a 1998 photo type file. So nice one there of the great Tony Chimmel. And he's like, yeah, Cena. So there he is, like, uh, ring announcing, and pretty cool inscription there of Tony Chimmel. All right, next we have, um, this guy was a jobber in WWF, but he's got pushed more in ECW. His name was Tony DeVito, so he wrote DeVito ECW. And then the other guy's name is Kingspin or Angel I don't know, you know who this partner is that well, but there's Kingpin Angel, uh, the partner, and Tony DeVito. This is an ECW dual sign photo of them. Tony DeVito and Kingpin Angel. And there's a close up of them together. All right, next we have um, a low card WWF talent for many years, and he was like later a road agent to break up the fights. His name was Tony Gurria. Sign right here is Tony Gurria. And again, one of these um, dirtier uh, sleeves. I guess this happens from time to time, so we'll have to clean that up at some point. But there it is, Tony Gurria, signed over here in blue. Next we have um, a WWF jobber. I guess he's pushing other organizations. His name was Tony Roy. He sent this to me directly. He wrote, to Todd, best wishes. God bless Tony Roy. And there's Tony Roy looking a little bit muscular with a title belt. So the, um, the great Tony Roy. There he is, all his glory. Next we have Tony Schiavone, a, a tremendous WCW announcer. was in the WWF briefly, too, in um, late 88 and 89, early 90. So he wrote, um, I actually believe it did, did be in early 89, my bad, 89 and 90. So it says Tony Schiavone, WCW, and there's a classic 1996 promo type picture there of Tony Schiavone. And again, the signature's up there. Here's another one of Tony Schiavone. This is a more modern one, probably from his um, AEW time. So it says Tony Schiavone. There he is, like with a beard and mustache. So a more modern photo of Tony Schiavone. Next, we have a dual sign photo of Too Cool. So we saw him earlier, both solo, but there's a combination one. So it says Grandmaster Sexy, Brian Christopher, who since tragically passed away. And then Scotty Tuhati. So Scott Taylor, Scotty Tuhati. Grandmaster Sexy, Brian Christopher, nice blue signatures of the two of them. So this is too cool on a nice dual sign photo. 
Next we have Tori, you know, the one who managed Kane and X Pac, and she was in the WWF around um, 99, 2000, 2001. So it says Tori right here, and she's got um, her showing this orange bikini pic. It says Tori WWF 2001, when so she was like a trainer. This is on a 2000 WWF promo type picture. So we have Tori, and there's a close up of it. Tori. Tori Potch, or Pac was her name, or something like that. And here's Tori again when she managed X Pac and was in D Generation X. So it's signed right down here is Tori, and there's X Pac holding her. They always like do this pose together. Tim White, the referee in the ring, just signed by Tori though. Next we have a different Tori. This is Tori Wilson, the one who um, was originally in WCW and then she went to WWF. This is when she managed Billy Kidman and was in WCW. She's attacking um, what was her name? That girl who's like a strong, uh, Asia, I think was her name or something like that. And she like Madge Flair, so she's a big strong woman. So there she is attacking her. I don't even have her autograph, that one. It says, love Tori Wilson. And there it is. She's beating up Asia. Billy Kidman's hurt in the ground. So that's an early Tori Wilson one, probably from 99 or 2000. Here's another Tori Wilson one. Signed a nice blue paint pen from her WWE days. So she wrote Tori Wilson Hall of Fame 2019. 2019. So it looks good. Tori Wilson Hall of Fame 2019. Here's a third one of Tori Wilson. So she wrote Tori Wilson WWE Hall of Fame 2019. There she's in a blue bikini outside in like a backyard or something. So another nice one there of Tori Wilson. Here's a pretty cool dual sign one of, you know, the ladies drinking some beers or sodas or something like that. So it's Tori Wilson over here on the left and Missy Hyatt on the right. So they are combined Tori Wilson and Missy Hyatt. Dual sign. Again, Tori's graph there. Missy's over there. And they are together Tori Wilson and Missy Hyatt having a drink together. Next, we have one half of Techno Team 2000. This is the guy who played Eric Watts. His name was Troy, so he wrote Troy Techno Team 2000. Um, Travis was his partner. Um, I don't know anyone who has that guy's autograph, though. He's very hard to get, though. But we have um, Troy, though, who is also known as Eric Watts from Techno Team 2000. Next, we have a nice Total Divas one. I don't even know, like... You know, hard to read these signatures, but you could take a look at them though. So there's one of them. It says, Love someone formerly known as. That's Summer Ray down there. Was that Naomi, maybe? Um, I can't tell. Is that, is that a belt? Some, some Rush signature there. This is Natalia, I believe, in the Love Natty. So we have like four signatures here on this Total Divas picture. I don't know if you guys can recognize who they are. I said, I know Summer Rae is there, Natalia Nightheart's there. But these other ones, I don't know. One's Naomi, I'm not sure who this one is. Maybe, it's not a belt, I, I don't know. We have like five autographs here. That's a pretty cool Total Divas picture signed by five of them in the picture. All right, we saw a tough. Um, we saw a mean Mike earlier. This is Tough Tom, the partner from Disorderly Conduct, a low card tag team in WCW. So he wrote Todd, good luck and best wishes, Tough Tom. So he, both of them gave it to me directly. We saw Mean Mike in a previous binder. This one is Tough Tom. Uh, I believe it was also known as Tom Bennett, that jobber we saw earlier in the, in the thing. So there he is, as Tough Tom, um, here on a sign eight by ten from Disorderly Conduct. Next, we have the tag team, the Toxic Turtles, who were played by Dwayne Gill and Barry Hardy. I'm not sure which one was which, but it says Todd, Toxic Turtles, and this one's signed by Terry over here. Terry's one looks like Raphael. The one looks like Michelangelo's known as Tommy. So I'm not sure which one was Dwayne Gill, which one was Barry Hardy, but they both signed it. So Tommy over here. And Terry over there. They were the Toxic Turtles. They had one um, dark match in the WWF in 1993. You can get that on the WWE Unreleased 86-95 to 95 DVD and see it. Uh, could not play this on TV because this would be infringing on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I grew up loving as a kid. These were the Toxic Turtles, though, again, Terry and Tommy, which were played by Dwayne Gill and Barry Hardy. And here's another one. This is the one that was known as Tommy. 
So it says Toxic Turtle Tommy. I think that one was... I think Tommy was Dwayne Gill. And I guess Terry was Barry Hardy. Not positive. Someone confirm if you know. But there it says Toxic Turtle Tommy. Getting ready for action. Here's a close-up of the signature. All right, next we have Tracy Smothers. Remember, ESS had to get his graph before he died. So there he is as Tracy Smothers. This one I don't think came from ESS, which is a Smoky Mountain Wrestling picture, though. And there's a close-up of the signature again, Tracy Smothers. Also played Freddie Joe Floyd. This is a cartoon picture signed by Trevor Murdoch. So Trevor Murdoch signed over here in silver. There's a pretty cool cartoon picture of the uh, the tough red, uh, redneck Trevor Murdoch. He's going to make you squeal like a pig. All right, next we have the lovely Trish Stratus signed over here. Trish Stratus is on a WWE photo file from 2005. There she's swimming, signed in blue. Trish Stratus, great career from 2000 to 2006 and still makes some sporadic appearances here and there. She might even be there currently, I don't know. Trish Stratus. There's another one, Trish Stratus, signed up here in blue. Love Trish Stratus with um, her shoulder and sleeve showing. So nice one there of the lovely Trish Stratus, signed over here by her hair. Here's a third one of Trish Stratus on a 2006 WWE photo file signed by her chest. So there she is with um, a low cut top and jeans with a belt. And again, signed Love Trish Stratus right over there. It's a nice one there of Trish on a WWE photo file again from 2006. Here's the fourth one. It's a JSA certain one, making it real. I think it came from High Spots. It's a dual signed Trish Stratus and Lita photo. So it says, love Trish Stratus over here, Lita over there. We've seen both a bunch of autographs of these two throughout the binders. And there they are combined. Trish and Lita had a great rivalry and feuded and, you know, respected one another too and teamed up good friends in real life. Trish Stratus and Lita both competed in the WWF, WWE at the same time. And again, there's a close-up of the signatures. And then in the back is the JSA ticket, you know, making it real. Let me just center it more. Okay, the JSA ticket. Next, we have a nice triple signed magazine page of the Truth Commission. So first we have the interrogator right here. Interrogator is the big tall man here, who's also known as Kurgan. Then we have Recon over here and Sniper down over there by the boots. So nice triple signed photo there of the Truth Commission on a magazine page. And again, we have Interrogator, Sniper, and Recon up here. So the Truth Commission on a magazine page. Triple signatures. And there's the back of the article about the Truth Commission. Next, we have dude, dude, Fred Ottman as the big tugboat. So he wrote Tugboat WWF. Nice uh, signature there of Big Tugboat, strong arms, funny red and white sailor outfit, the sailing superstar Tugboat, one of the few big men still alive um, in 2023, Tugboat. Here's a nice triple signed um, picture of Fred Ottman, all his gimmicks, it says the three faces of Ottman. So we have Tugboat right there, Tugboat WWF, Typhoon WWF. And the Shockmaster, WCW. So there he is as Tugboat, when he's one half of the Natural Disasters Typhoon, and the Shockmaster. Nice triple signed photo of Fred Ottman and his three gimmicks in wrestling. Next we have a solo one of Tolly Blanchard. And it's signed up here in Silver Sharpie. Tolly Blanchard with a biblical inscription. He's very religious. So Tolly Blanchard, one half of the Brain Busters, a member of the Four Horsemen. Great worker. Here's a solo one of Typhoon. We just saw him as Tugboat. We saw him earlier as a natural disaster with Earthquake. But this was solo one, just signed by Typhoon. It says Typhoon WWF. This is on a 1992 type promo picture. Earthquake in the photo with him. They have the belts, but only signed by Typhoon. If you look back at one of the previous videos, though, you do see a combo of the natural disasters. This is a nice dual sign one. It's Tyson Tomko and Kevin Nash. So Tyson Tomko signed it over there. And Kevin Nash is giving him the boot. Signed it over here as K Nash. So there it is. Tyson Tomko taking the boot and Kevin Nash giving the boot. So a nice dual sign one of Tyson Tomko and Kevin Nash. 
That came from Bill Paley. Next we have the Ultimate Warrior. And there he is signing it as Ultimate Warrior. Um, I got this one. Some guy went to some signing and he had a bunch of them. He sold it at a very reasonable price. You wouldn't believe how low it was. There's, there was a bunch of these out there though, like maybe a decade ago though. This is the Ultimate Warrior. Probably my favorite wrestler or top two favorite wrestlers when I grew up. The Ultimate Warrior, Jim Helling. I later met him, fortunately, about a year before he died. Here's another one of the Ultimate Warrior when he's the Intercontinental Champion. He signed right here in blue by his boots. It's a nice one there of the Ultimate Warrior with the Intercontinental title, getting ready for a match, and signed down here by his boots. Ultimate Warrior is a close-up of it. All right, here's the third one of the Ultimate Warrior. This is a Coliseum video ad from 1990. Signed over here as Ultimate Warrior. Very cool Coliseum video promo picture with the Warrior and the heavyweight title. When he's the World Wrestling Federation champion. A Steve Taylor photo, if you will. Ultimate Warrior there in silver. On the back of that, I have a nice magazine page. It's from the Survivor Series 92 program. So you see Warrior Savage, Flair Ramon, Bossman against Nails, Undertaker against Kamal. Only signed by Ultimate Warrior, though, right here in silver. It's a nice one there of the Warrior. Shame I didn't get, um, you know, Razor was still alive when I got this. So I could have gotten Razor or Flair added to this. And Sally, just Warrior signed it. But very nice, cool picture, though, from the 92 Survivor Series. I remember the, they're called the Ultimate Maniacs, but um, it's around, around, close around the time I started watching wrestling, actually. But then Warrior got fired at their place with Mr. Perfect. But pretty cool in there. Here's a nice dual sign Royal Rumble 89, um, I guess, advertisement here for the Super Pose Down. Ultimate Warrior signed it over here, and Ravishing Rick Rude signed it over there. So that's very hard to get anything with these two guys, much less a dual sign photo. So we have Warrior and Rude together on a Royal Rumble 89 Super Pose Down height. Next we have the Ultimo Dragon signed over here in blue. So very cool in there. Some earlier with Sonny Ono, but there's a solo one of the Ultimo Dragon. Next we have the Samoan Bulldozer Umaga. Signed right there by his chest. This is on a 2006 WWE promo picture of Umaga. And there's the photo overall. There's a close-up again of the signature of the great Umaga. Tragically, he's since passed away. He was a great talent, though. Funny with Armando Alejandro Estrada. Next, we have Rest in Peace. The Undertaker signed over here. There's that cool signature he has. This is when he had the purple gloves with Paul Bearer here in the WWF. Undertaker, probably from 94, 95, 96 range. So there we go. We got the Undertaker here. And I'm getting one of those errors again. Hopefully we're not losing the connection or anything. The Undertaker. And the backs are pretty cool where it came from. All right, next we have another Undertaker one. This is like around 97 when he became the WWF champion again, when he beat Sid at WrestleMania 13. So nice cool in there of the Undertaker with the WWF title. And there's a close-up of the signature, Undertaker. Here's a third one of the Undertaker, and this one is PSA Certain, making it real. So there's a modern one of The Undertaker signed over here. So very cool one there of The Undertaker. And in the back's the PSA cert. Here's a nice dual sign one of Undertaker with his manager, Paul Bear. It's amazing what Paul Bear autographs go for now. Like, you know, back in the day, he was like 20, 25 bucks. Now like people are spending 90, 100. It's crazy what he's going for. But Undertaker over there, Paul Bear over there. This is when Undertaker was like a heel in 91. So nice dual combo then of Undertaker and Paul Bearer. And again, we've got a close-up of that. Looking really cool. Signed by both men. I saw Bear at a convention in 2012. So tragically, he died, though, like six months later or something. All right. Here's one of the fake Undertaker, which was Brian Lee. So he wrote Undertaker 94. This is the guy who played the fake Undertaker. That was his name was Brian Lee. You know, I know him from Disciples of Apocalypse, that stable, Chains. So there's Undertaker, the fake Undertaker, Brian Lee. Next, we have the U.S. Express, which was Mike Rotundo and Barry Windham. So they are together at the tag team belts, Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham. 
Here's the second one of the United States of the U.S. Express with manager Captain Lou Obano, but just signed by Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham. But very cool photo though with um, Captain Lou in the photo. So there's a close-up Rotunda Windham. There they are together with Captain Lou in the photo. Next, we have a triple sign one of the Usos. The Usos, very valuable autographs to get these days. I just sold one for 75 bucks not too long ago. So we have Jimmy and Jay Uso with Tamina Snuka, who managed them at the time. So there's the triple sign. You can see one of the Usos there. Jimmy, Jay, Tamina. And there's the three of them together. The Usos with Tamina. Very valuable these days. And the last one for Binder 13 is Big Van Vader. And he wrote, It's Vader time! So there's Big Vader writing, It's Vader time. There's a close-up of the inscription. And this will conclude Binder number 13. I'll be back shortly. We'll do Binder 14 and 15, and then we will be done for the binders. All right, see you in a few minutes, folks.